Okay, so I wanted to make this uh, video on UWTI. Uh, it's the crude, three times long crude ETN. And uh, basically, I just wanted to go over every, everybody with this chart is because I actually purchased it today and I'd been looking at, you know, I've done some shorting and buying some things over the years um, as oil's been uh, turbulent, you know, in the markets. And I really haven't done a lot, to be honest with you, because I really don't, want to trade that kind of uh, volatility just on news the thing can just go crazy but today anyways I decided it hit an all-time low at a dollar 17 here I finally decided to dip my toe in the water and I bought shares at a dollar 21 and basically what this is for me and just to share this with you is this uh, this really doesn't have a lot to do on anything fundamental because we don't know if oil is at a bottom yet we don't know what's going to happen, but today it got really super low, and I haven't done anything in oil oil related in a long, long time, and so risk versus reward caught my eye because I like at least three to five times my reward on my risk, and this definitely fit my criteria. Um, because at the price I bought it, the risk is so low at the price that I paid versus the reward. If oil were to get back, and like I say, I'm not predicting, I'm not trying to tell people this is the bottom, I'm not saying any of that because I don't know, nor do I really care. All I'm looking at is risk versus reward. The price of this that I got in, I almost picked, cherry picked the bottom for now, which doesn't mean anything could go a lot lower. But um, if it goes lower, I, I might add, decide to add some more because, like I said, at the price of it, it's, it's so dirt cheap. Um, last year, midway last year, that was trading at about, uh, well, 30 bucks. That makes sense because uh, uh, oil was right around, around this area, oil was right around 55 to 60. So um, if this thing were to ever return, uh, back up some, let's say oil got halfway, got up to, you know, $50, $60 a barrel in the next couple of years. I don't expect oil will ever see $140 a barrel again. Who knows? You really never know with these crazy, uh, with the crazy oil market. But just strictly on risk versus reward only, that's why I bought this. I, I would never anticipate a move back to here to $260-some dollars a share. I'm not even thinking of that in my wildest dreams. I don't think that this, as being an ETN, this will never see those prices ever again. Uh, I shouldn't say never, but the likelihood is very unlikely. I'm trying to be a little bit more realistic, and even that is still stretching. But at you can see here at this level here where it was at last year, you know, about you know, $30, $35 a, a share. And uh, maybe in years to come, if this, uh, if these moving averages start smoothing out a little bit, and the price of oil starts going back up, who knows? We could get into 30 bucks a share maybe before the next, uh, before this ETN just falls apart, or, or or not. Who knows? But the risk versus reward is why I took the trade. I think it's a fabulous trade because you're only putting in a small amount of money, and. Uh, you know, it's definitely worth the risk. It's better than the three to five times. This is more like, uh, realistically, this could be a 10 to 20 bagger. So, um, you know, buy at your own discretion, but I think this is pretty good and it's definitely worth a, worth a look. You know, this could be shared with anybody if you're, you know, people going to college, whatever, you don't have a lot of money, you want to get involved in the markets, you want to try and buy something cheap that you go out, you know, at the bar for the weekend, a couple of weekends in a row, you spend 500 bucks. So you could buy something like this, let it set for a year or two. Um, you know, uh, well, dollar 32. I'm actually up on my shares that I bought a little bit, but dollar 32. So you know, 1,300 bucks, and turn around and cash out later for you know 20, 30 thousand. Pretty good little, pretty good little rip. So. Um, just one that I saw that caught my eye, and I it hadn't really caught my eye. I mean, I had been watching over the years, but uh, today I finally decided to pull the trigger, um, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, good luck.